Hello everyone and welcome to Rail Car Productions. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a very simple muzzle flash. Muzzle flashes can be found in almost every single action movie and are relatively easy to do. There are more complicated ways to do them, but today we're going to be covering the easiest way possible. Okay, so let's film our shots. The first shot is of your talent pretending to fire a gun. And that's it, there's no more shots. So let's hop over to Premiere Pro. Okay, so take your shot and place it on the timeline until you have exactly what you want. Then, take some stock footage of a muzzle flash or a picture of a muzzle flash and trim it down to just one frame. Then place it on the timeline. To make this accessible for everyone, I've left a free muzzle flash in the description down below. Once you have it trimmed down to one frame, if the background is black, then you have to change the blending mode to screen. If it's a green screen clip, then you'll have to use the ultra key effect and select the green to remove it. Once the background is removed, scale and reposition the muzzle flash to the barrel of your gun. Now play it back. Now we've already got a muzzle flash that looks pretty good, but we're gonna make it better. We're gonna add some smoke. So get some stock footage of a smoke puff. You can either download this from a stock footage website. Once again, to make this accessible for everyone, I've left a free one in the description down below. Then change the blending mode to screen and scale and reposition to the barrel of your gun. If your shot is moving, then you may want to scale and reposition the smoke to kind of puff out the end of the barrel. But since our shot isn't moving, we're not going to do that. Next, download a sound effect of a gunshot from a stock footage website, or to make it accessible for everyone, I've left a free one once again in the description. And place it at the time in the video when the muzzle flash occurs. Now you've got a muzzle flash that looks amazing, and it's really simple to do too. Thanks for watching, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more DIY filmmaking, and I'll see you next time.